coming. Former VCU coach Anthony Grant returns to Richmond for the first time since leaving for Alabama four years ago. Moments ago, a pregame handshake with his successor, current VCU head coach, Shaka Smart. Michael Jordan, they won it! Puts it up. Yes! Launches the shot. This is the Seagull Center on the VCU campus in Richmond, Virginia. Sold out for a 23rd straight time. And we are set for Alabama from the SEC against A-10 newcomer VCU. Today's game is brought to you in high definition by LG. Hello again, everyone. Welcome to Richmond. I'm Dave Ryan alongside former head coach of Virginia, Pete Gillen. And Pete, havoc is the theme for Shaka Smart and the Rams. It says so on the media guide. On the back of their warm-up jerseys, what does it mean? Havoc is relentless full-court pressure. They love to double-team in the backcourt. They love to have frantic defensive pressure all over the court. They attack you in waves and waves. It's like the Atlantic Ocean. They keep coming at you in waves and waves. You need a lifeguard to play against these guys. They have really quick hands. They're very, very aggressive. They keep coming at the ball. They have a great sense where the basketball is. They share it. They attack you for 40 minutes. They relentless pressure. Certainly a big headline today here in Richmond is the return of former VCU coach, now Alabama head man, Anthony Grant. And Pete, you know from being in a similar circumstance, a lot of emotion for Anthony today. Yes, Dave. When I was at Virginia, we played Providence College. It was a very emotional game for me. I'm sure for Anthony Grant coming back to VCU, it's going to be a very emotional game for him. He has a lot of wonderful memories. He had two NCAA tournament appearances, three CAA regular season titles. He beat Duke in the NCAA tournament. He has a great memories here at this place. Anthony told us today it will be emotional before the game for him, but once the game starts, it's all about getting the victory. It's Havoc, VCU style, head to head with the Alabama Crimson Tide. Hello, handsome. Hola, guapo. Let's go back to my place. Vamos a ir a mi casa. The phone that translates for you. Good boy. Buen chico. Droid Razor M by Motorola with Android Jelly Bean. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, I'm missing it. Somebody's got to be showing the game. Yes! The phone that knows where you need to be. The Droid Razor M by Motorola with Android Jelly Bean. Lisa, I want some more. More? Thank you. Well, we did say please. And thank you. Please. And thank you. College basketball on CBS Sports Network is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops. Your adventure starts here. By GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Visit us at GEICO.com or call 1-800-947-AUTO. And by Acura. Acura. Advance. Nice look at the James River outside Richmond, Virginia. City of 1.5 million. Anthony Grant, fourth season in Tuscaloosa. Took the Crimson Tide to the NCAA tournament last year. They lost to Creighton, a thriller. A last second three was blocked to keep Alabama from advancing. Starting lineups for Coach Grant's team. Alabama led by the Trevors in the backcourt. Relaford and Lacey. Trevor Relaford, preseason first team all SEC pick. Front court tested in this game. Junior Musa Gay, a seven footer from Senegal, but has not been an offensive threat this season. For VCU, we'll see 11 different players in this game. They start off with Rob Brandenburg in the backcourt. He was a member of the 2011 Final Four team. Up front, Travion Graham leads his team in scoring at 15 a game. Javante Reddick just behind at 14.4 per. Jaka Smart. Led the Rams to the final four in 2011. An unforgettable story. Turned down many big name schools to stay right here in Virginia's capital city. Last year led them to the third round of the NCAA tournament, losing to Indiana in a close game. Bill McCarthy, Dennis Alaco, and Tony Crisp are on court officials today. And what an atmosphere from the single center. Time now for the opening tip brought to you by Bud Light. Here we go. This arena is jumping. 
and sits about 7,500. No seats available today, another sellout. Lisa Gay and Javante Reddick take a jump at midcourt, and we are underway. SEC against the A-10. Near steal. A take for Cooper and some contacts. As Rodney Cooper is fouled, he'll shoot a couple. Dave, that's what you have to do against this VCU pressure defense. You have to attack the rim. Go north and south, attack the rim, a lot of contact. Cooper took it strong to the basket. That's what Alabama has to do, Dave. Don't go east and west. Go north and south to the rim. Attack this pressure defense. Cooper's got one more. A lot of the team's leading rebounder, only 4.7 boards a game. He's a sophomore from Hertzboro, Alabama. East of Montgomery, near Tuscaloosa. In rural Alabama, hits a couple there. And a 2 0 Bama lead early. Bama comes out, full court pressure, Dave. I like that. You got a fire with fire. Troy Daniels, a long range threat. For VCU misfires on a three, and it's out of bounds to Alabama. Daniels had a school record time, eight threes, the last time VCU played a win at Old Dominion. Former CAA rival. VCU now in the Atlantic 10. And what a conference that's become with the addition of the Rams and Butler this year. Relaford through the Havoc defense, drives toward the basket and miss. Lusa Gay a hand on the rebound. Pulled down by Reddick. Here comes Brandenburg. Dave, this is going to be a track meet for sure, Dave. Time now for the accurate keys to the game. First coach for Alabama, what do you think? Got to get off to a good start, Dave. Last two games, they did not. He got beat, cut down turnovers. The VCU get points off the turnovers and knock down threes. Pass down low. Reddick can't find the handle. And a little havoc defense on the Alabama side as Cooper finds the loose change early on here. Alabama's lost two in a row at Cincinnati in the team's first true road game of the Big East. And then at home to Dayton. Steal, Brandenburg, Briante Weber can't get the roll. Was caught between the throw down and the lay in, and a foul down low is going to be called on Cooper of Alabama. Dave, when you go into the glass, you got to use the glass. Here we see attacking Brandenburg attacks the basket, kicks it off to Weber. Weber didn't whether to dunk it or not. He missed it. You got to use the backboard, little guy. Use the backboard. Briante Weber is a good athlete, Dave, but he's not a big dunker. Inbounds play, an easy two. Travion Graham, the team's leading score 15 a game. And their second leading rebounder coming off a 23.9 rebound game of the win over Old Dominion. And here's the pressure. Relaford to Lacey. Skip pass, ball movement. Three second call, Moose again. And the ball goes back to VCU. Relif is doing a nice job early on attacking his pressure. I love what Alabama did early, Dave. They pressed the pressing team. Yubi Brown, a great coach of the Knicks, Atlanta Hawks, said always press a pressing team because it takes some starch out of them. Shaka Smart told us today he and Anthony Grant are professional friends. They do text each other occasionally. They'll pick Anthony's brain about some of the success that Anthony had at VCU. But Shaka, the amazing run a couple years back. Right is free. First bucket, Javante Reddick. Now the pressure. Javante Powell into the game for the first time. Twenty-five to shoot here for Alabama. Not the smarts already gone to Darius Theus off the bench. Hey, Reddick faked the screen and he slipped to the basket. Nice pass by Theus. So he faked the ball screen, Dave, and he slipped to the basket. Good offense by VCU. Levi Randolph had a team high 15 points last game for Alabama. Home loss to Dayton of the Atlantic 10. Theus good uh, defense. Lacey touched it before it went to the midcourt line. So over and back call. And a turnover for Alabama. Trevor Lacey says that was tipped by Theus. The officials do not agree. 
Here we see, I thought it was a foul, Dave. You gotta match the physicality of VCU. That time Alabama did, he hit him. I thought that was a, a foul first, then a backcourt violation. Bradford slashing through the paint. Far away from 10, not there. Grant cannot corral a rebound. Lacey does. Pulls up for 15. Short on the jumper. And Travion Grant on the rebound for VCU. Here come the Rams the other way. Good hands out of bounds. 29 to shoot here. Well, this possession for VCU. A lot of great athletes, Dave. Tremendous intensity on defense by both teams. Graham on the post-up play. Now it's this. Also today he wants to become a high school coach and teacher. Virginia Beach area where he's from when he's done playing ball. Great leader on this team. Turn around, jump Reddick way off. And the rebound for Relaford. Trevor to Trevor. Relaford to Lacey. Now it's Alabama in the half court set. Could be a lot of ball screen save in this defense. Right Old team. Baseline. Can't hit Gay ahead of a rebound. In the paint, Devontae Pollard can't get a roll. Loose change. Who's got it? Daniels. Here's Trevion Grant. Here comes VCU. Screen call off the ball, foul against VCU. Going to be on Javante Rennick, that will be his first. You want to see a ball screen, but it can't be a moving screen. Here, Rennick moves at the last second. Good call by the official. Illegal screen by VCU, foul the ball. Rams second team foul early in our first half here. We told you about Havoc, that means lots of bodies in and out. Jared Guest is going to make his first appearance. Brandenburg will take a seat. Alabama here, coach, still no field goals, just the two early free throws. Hit by Rodney Cooper. And the pressure there from Theus, causing trouble on the inbounds play. We can't even get the ball in bounds against these guys. No, they're tough. You have to screen to get them in bounds now. Screen here. Don't just come to the ball because you have great athlete against great athlete. And Jacobs. Of Havoc. This is it. Nick Jacobs into the game. Had to come. Some recent ankle trouble. Pollard, double team, so much trouble, out of bounds. Alabama still has it and will when we return to Richmond, Virginia. The crowd energized, sellout again here at the Siegel Center. They love having the double team, just like Pete Gillen said. That's tough. This season, give Craftsman tools and give the gifts that keep on giving. Craftsman, guys' favorites guaranteed. Find it at sea. Two strangers. Do you ever want to be a part of something special? One passion. The mob is our way of saying, listen up. We exist. I plan to start construction on the greatest hotel Miami has ever seen. Our home's all gone. We need to stop him. It's time for protest art. Join the revolution. Step up revolution. Order now on demand. Press the on demand button on your remote to get this great new release plus thousands more on Fios. Attention all recipients of Depew hip implants. Johnson & Johnson, the parent company of Depew, is reportedly attempting to get medical releases from patients who receive Depew hip implants so they can speak to patients directly and possibly take statements without an attorney present. Signing legal documents without consulting an attorney first is a bad idea. If you received a defective hip implant, you may be entitled to money damages. Call Weitz & Luxembourg now at 1-800-487-0698. That's 1-800-487-0698. Attention parents and grandparents of young children. Gerber Life is accepting applications for their affordable grow-up plan. The grow-up plan gives your child $10,000 in whole life insurance protection now, then doubles automatically to $20,000 later at no extra cost. Free information will be sent to parents and grandparents who call now. 
Help give your child a head start for just pennies a day. Don't wait. Call now for free information. Call 1-800-944-3992. Call now. Alabama had a six-game win streak to start the season. And a two-game losing streak. Cincinnati and Dayton. Notable wins in the six-game win streak to start the year. Oregon State and Villanova. As they try to build up their RPI toward the SEC season. And defending national champ Kentucky. Not quite the dominant Wildcats they've been, but it'll be a tough SEC again. Unless you have to really good start this year in the SEC. Just underway here, 4-2 game. Team's not shooting very well early on. A combined 2 for 10, VCU 2 for 6, Alabama 0 for 4, and no field goals for either team since the 18-20 mark of this first half. So for Anthony Grant, are the jitters over with? I think so. Once the ball goes up, they to start the game, they forget everything. It's all about the game. Let's take a look at today's Volkswagen player spotlight. Trevor Relaford, one of the top players in the SEC. He's a first-team preseason All-SEC player. He has to break the pressure by VCU and create shots for himself and also for his teammates. He's doing a real good job so far, Dave. Junior from Kansas City. His brother is Kansas senior guard Travis Relaford. And Jayhawks' third leading scorer. Great family of basketball stars there. From Alabama, I'm going inside now to Nick Jacobs. He can score inside or get fouled. A talented sophomore. Anthony Grant's message to us today in the shooting round, we have to be aggressive. Can't let BC overwhelm us. Trouble there even getting toward the basket. And with zero on the shot clock, it went out of bounds anyway. So shot the smart team will get it right back here. The attack, good hands that time by Darius Theus. They're all over, flicking, grabbing, knocking. I would love to see Alabama press him on a dead ball day where after a basket attack VCU. Daniels lines up a long three ball off the mark. And a rebound for Devontae Pollard. They call him TD3 here in Richmond, as in Troy Daniels shooting a three-pointer. <laughs> At 94 threes made last year, a school record here at VCU. Uh, he and his teammates are not shooting well to begin this game here today. Five minutes in. Offensive foul off the ball against Alabama. Going to be whistled there on Devontae Pollard. Here we go. Full court pressure by Alabama. I like that, Dave. When Wichita State came in here and beat VCU at VCU, they pressed them for a good part of the game. It really helped them. Pressing teams don't like to get pressed back. It's a great point. Apply the pressure. Put it their own medicine. Pass down low. Haley has it up. DJ Haley, a seven foot junior center from Palmdale, California, near Los Angeles. Relaford almost went over and back there, thanks to the pressure. And Travis will feed off to Devontae Pollard. Every possession for the opposition is challenged. And you can see Shock and Smart top of your screen defending with his team. Good tie up. Here we see attack. Briante Weber, who's missed the havoc. Nice pass inside to Haley. Send it home, big fella. Send it home. Let the big dog eat. Give the big dog the ball. He'll play then. He won't go on strike. No talking strikes, please. This is college sports. Well, you got to get the big guy the ball. He, he disappears, Dave. Briante <laughs> Weber is the team's emotional leader, Shaka Smart told us this morning. He's their high energy guy. Team full of energetic players. Possession arrow to VCU. Here's Haley down low, and he travels. A turnover against VCU. Good call. These officials are doing a great job. A very difficult game to officiate with the athletes, the intensity, the physicality. This is brutal. It's a great point. Managing the emotion from an officiating standpoint is not easy. Yep, exactly. Now. And we see Dave now uh, right in the middle. We see he's free right away, Jacobs. Get him the ball. He's a good pressure release. The other guys are going to shut him off. Haley, the big seven foot, is way back. Nick Jacobs is wide open. Perhaps taking a look at the clock. Only a second into the possession. And we had a right. 
to be brought to 14 10 remaining in our first half. Avante Power to inbound here against the Havoc Crusher. As Coach Gillen correctly predicted, you must have been a basketball coach or something. Cool. <laughs> cool. 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 <laughs> Jacobs the outlet punt. Lacey will not get there. 10 second call against Alabama. They just could not get the ball anywhere near the midcourt stripe. It goes right back to VCU. It was a quick 10 second save. I'm going to count it by two and a half. Just get it in. Yeah. yeah. Good call. Good call. It seemed awful fast, but it was a good call by the officials. It seemed fast for Bama, too. <laughs> they couldn't get anywhere near the timeline. Points off turnovers, all VCU so far. Alabama does not have a field goal in this game. Just the two early free throws from Cooper. That's been in. A stranglehold of the Alabama offense thanks to this havoc defense of VCU. Seven early turnovers and three for the Rams here. Seven for the Crimson Tide. Yeah, but it's a revenge game. Alabama won last year in Tuscaloosa. Grand long range shot. Reddick just back in the game. Put back, partially blocked. Rebounding hard. Travion Graham. And he'll go to the free throw line to shoot a couple. A lot of contact down low as Alabama fights. Very aggressive. Missed shot. Now both teams attack the glass. Jacobs can't get it. Strong by Reddick. Again, attack. Boy. Travion. Graham, Dave. They call him the freight train. He's in there, boy. He mixes it up. Very physical, very strong. He could be the all-time leading scorer at VCU before he's done. He's on that pace right now. He's only a sophomore, as you know. Would that be something? Seven of nine games this year. As the subs flow in and out for Shaka Smart. Travion Graham in the double figures. Shaka said to him, you could become the all-time leading scorer. Right now, it's Eric Maynor. Who had 1,953 points when he played here between 05 and 08. He's now in the NBA, first round draft pick of the Utah Jazz. Now plays in Oklahoma City. Eight nothing run, had it, causing a turnover again. And subsequent foul. Yeah, they take Relifin out of the game, they pick his pocket, foul. Another opportunity for the Rams, Dave. Glad I'm not coaching against these Rams, boy. They're a nightmare. It's like the old Georgetown teams with John Thompson. Keep coming at you, waves and waves, physical, aggressive, athletic, and deep. Alabama's never lost to VCU for an all-time school history. The Rams look very effective early with a suffocating defense. A run 11, maybe 12 players. Brandenburg off the screen. And at that shot from 17, Levante Power the rebound for Alabama. Dave, Alabama's a great defensive team, too. They held teams to 58 points a game last season, so they play tremendous defense. So luckily the defense is great because otherwise they'd be blown out of the gym right away. Jacob with the left on the baseline, can't hit, has the rebound, and he lost it. On the baseline. Alabama coach still no field goals in this game. But I like the fact they got the ball inside to Nick Jacobs, the talented sophomore who's coming off a sprained ankle. Get him the ball. He's got a chance to get fouled. The perimeter is really shut off. So go inside or attack off the dribble. Go north and south. A couple of passes to put your head down and drive the ball. Make the officials call a foul. Relaford inbound to Lacey. Who's going to step up for Alabama? Power to Cooper, long range shot, too strong. On a three, Reddick the rebound for BCU. Ricky Ray for the game to Daniels, a three for TD3. Pressure off the triple for Daniels. Lacey loving down low, and they're out of control. Rodney Cooper could not corral it. Another turnover. Alabama's in serious trouble. To get the ball to one of the best shooters, I think, in the country, Troy Daniels. He gets hot. He buries it. He's like a microwave, Dave. He can make a whole bunch in a row. Tremendous deep shooter. And eight three-point shots last game against Old Dominion. Von VCU, get him the ball now. He feels it. He feels it when he doesn't feel it. Dave. That's right. 156 career triples 
for Troy Daniels. We talked about the school record 94 threes last year. Alabama, this has been a miserable start for them. And slow starts have been a huge factor in their recent losses to Cincinnati and Dayton. Brandenburg, a drive outside the paint. Too strong, off the glass and a rebound for Lacey. 11-0 run for BCU. Can anyone score for Alabama? Against Havoc, Coach, you cannot dig yourself this kind of hole. No, you just can't, can't win. You're right, Dave. You got to go north and south. Go get the ball inside. Get it to Jacobs, 15. Get him the ball. Let the big dog eat. Jacobs to pick. Relaford drives in and a foul. Meaning when we come back, Travis Relaford will shoot a couple free throws for Alabama. Crimson Tide Burton early. Santa, we made a video for your trip. Yeah, you can watch it on your sleigh. Okay. Here you go. Oh, thanks, elves. I also made you a video. You are so sweet. But you probably shouldn't watch it on the sleigh. Say goodbye to Santa, boys. Goodbye, Santa. Goodbye, Santa. Goodbye, Santa. Exclusively at AT&T, buy any Samsung Galaxy smartphone, get up to $100 off a second Samsung Galaxy device. When it comes to the financial obstacles military families face, we understand. At USAA, we know military life is different. We've been there. That's why every bit of financial advice we offer is geared specifically to current and former military members and their families. <laughs> Dad! Life brings obstacles. USAA brings advice. Call or visit us online. We're ready to help. This is a great chicken sandwich. Oh, yeah, it is. Whoa, what's going wow. on there? Wow. I just got my mind blown. Because it's so good? So good. Yeah, I like to make note of every time my mind's been blown. This oh, is number 53. Nice. First was being born. That makes sense, Two, obviously. my first hat. Oh. Yeah. Every other time it's been here, it's on. Yeah, I know, man. It is such a good sandwich. Yeah Woo! 54. The Asiago Caesar Chicken Sandwich, part of our all-new premium chicken lineup. And try our new chocolate mint holiday shake. This is how you Sonic. A-10 season for BCU, picked third in the preseason poll behind St. Joseph's and St. Louis. Coach, I don't think a lot of teams in the A-10 want to face VCU and Havoc right now because this is an excellent team. They did the best team in the A-10 right now. I haven't seen everybody, but I've seen Red follow. There's a lot of good teams. St. Louis is good, St. Joe's are good, but this is the best team in the A-10. Mark it down. Alabama having such trouble with bad starts, Coach. They were down 11 to actually 13 to to Dayton in their last game. They only had a couple free throws in the first five minutes. Ended up losing that one to the Flyers and Archie Miller's team by five. That was at home at Coleman Coliseum in Tuscaloosa. And a really tough start against Cincinnati in a loss. They also, in that game against Cincinnati, lost Carl Engstrom, their seven-foot junior center from Sweden for the year with a torn ACL PCL. Exactly. They'll miss him, but uh, nine turnovers, Dave. You can't beat a talented team like VCU with nine turnovers, and uh, you got to attack the basket. And once again, it's so physical. I mean, these guys, the referees are letting a lot go, so it's a big advantage for VCU. There's a bright spot. 94% Relaford. That's something. Team leader in steals as well. Leads the SEC in free throw percentage. First team Preseason pick, and look at that. Even a miss for Relaford from the line. Yikes. Trevor had 25 in the win over Villanova for the Big East we told you about. The most for Alabama player in a single game this year. Missed two, and he shoots 94% from the line. Ouch. Things go bad, Dave. They go bad, so uh, they got to hang in there. It's a long game. They got to get points off their defense, Dave. You get a steal, deflection. You can't score, you get a score off your defense. 
Long range shot, OT Ray Four from London, England, a miss. Dave and Pete, former head coach at Providence, Xavier and Virginia with you from a sold out Siegel Center, 7,500 strong here, 23rd straight sellout. VCU home whites against Alabama from the SEC and the visiting Reds, and they are really struggling. Crimson Tide still no field goals in the game. Only two early free throws by Rodney Cooper. That has been it for their score. Daniels, that's a long three. NBA range, and then some Reddick was upended and try to keep that alive on the rebound. So Alabama gets it back here. So he got undercut, Dave. I don't think it was on purpose, but I think it was a foul. And we see Troy Daniels loads up from way downtown. Great three-point shooter. Back rim. Reddick goes up. Uh, it looked like Relifid going for the ball went under him. I thought it was a foul by Relifid. Not a malicious foul, but a foul nonetheless. Each team a long layoff. VCU a week for finals. Ten days for Alabama for final exams. The longest stretch ever in the Anthony Grant era. Now his fourth season in Tuscaloosa without a game. He told us today they practiced very well. Would be refreshed and ready for the high energy of VCU today. And they have not been. Lacey, long-range shot. Still Alabama, no field goals in the game. Daniels, a nice save to Rob Brandenburg, and here comes VCU. Daniels, a trailer. Another three. That's off the mark. And Jacobs cleans up a loose change. If Daniels buries a three, this game might be over already, but Alabama's still in it. The roof will come off the building if Daniels gets high. He misses last two. I would still go inside, Dave. The perimeter defense is outstanding by VCU. Go inside to the big door, Nick Jacobs. Levi Randolph with 10 to shoot. Nice old play for him, but he can't get free. In the paint, dish off, down low, and finally, a layup. Rodney Cooper, first field goal of the day for Alabama. Their first point since 17 seconds in. When Rodney Cooper. Get a couple of free throws. Brandenburg down the red long range shot is good. A three for Rob Brandenburg, the junior from just outside Columbus, Ohio. Dave, he's the X Factor. If he gets going, I just add more juice to that team. Randolph ahead of the pack. Floater off the glass and in. And a chance for a three point play. Levi Randolph. They needed that one, Pete Bassett. And yeah, we saw good penetration by Alabama. It went north and south. Nice bounce pass into Cooper. Nice finish. But then we get an answer. Brandenburg, the X Factor, bangs in a three from the right wing. So once you score against them, you've got to get your mug back. Alabama does not get back well on fast break defense day. Last couple of games, Dayton and Cincinnati hurt them with fast break. Randolph coming off a big game against the Flyers of the Atlantic 10 in the last matchup for Alabama. He's a sophomore from Madison, Alabama. Southwest of Huntsville, a former high school state champion Alabama, the Gatorade State Player of the Year. And to progress in some nice recruiting in his time at Tuscaloosa as Randolph completes a three-point play. I like this, Dave. Now full court, man-to-man -man pressure by Alabama. Attack them. They're attacking you. Attack them back. You'll be Brown was right. And foul coach is on Reddick, star big man. VCU's got his second. He's back in. Alabama Dave is a tremendous defensive team, so just make it tough. Try to get a rebound and run, scoring transition. I feel like a football score here. BC has not played football. Alabama sure does. Try and score. Gravion Graham is up to six. Alabama might have kind of a big game on the football side against one of your former schools, Notre Dame, January 7th in Miami. BCS National Championship game. I want your take on that later in the broadcast. Great. We'll talk about that, Dave, but... Da -da 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 <laughs> ah, the golden bell. I'm tone deaf, uh, I'm tone deaf, Dave, but that's the song I know. Coach Kelly would love that. Pollard pulls up the dribble, now needs some help. Randolph bails him out, under 10 to shoot. I'd like to see some backdoor plays by Alabama. Yeah, they're mugging him. They do that in the street, they go to Rikers Island. They spend two months there. Melvin Johnson, the foul. A drive and a score. Travion Graham, student section, loves it. Excuse me, maestro. Bring it down, please. Better. That's what happens to background noise when you're making a call on this. 
This microphone here picks up the sounds around you and helps turn them down. So when the world gets noisy, calls sound better. Ladies, why is your man watching this snoozer of a game? Because I'm on his fantasy football team. So he gets for 10 points if we win or not. Boom. It's a guy thing. Like Dr. Pepper 10, with all 23 flavors of Dr. Pepper and just 10 manly calories, it's like a fantasy soda, but you could drink it. Get in there, hot dog! It's what guys want. Like scoring touchdowns with players that fake coaching. Woo! So close. So keep the reality TV and lady drinks. We're good. Dr. Pepper 10, it's not for women. Hello, handsome. Hola, guapo. Let's go back to my place. Vamos a ir a mi casa. The phone that translates for you. Good boy. Buen chico. Droid Razor M by Motorola with Android Jelly Bean. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, I'm missing it. Somebody's got to be showing the game. Yes! The phone that knows where you need to be. The Droid Razor M by Motorola with Android Jelly Bean. Be sure to check out PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale only on PS3 and PlayStation Vita. Rated T for team. Welcome back to the Stew. Stuart Siegel Center on the VCU campus sold out again. Students and fact coach were there at 4 a.m. lined up to make sure they got to Ram Nation. And who brought some donuts and coffee by this morning? But head coach shot this morning. Let's make sure that the students who have been there since the crack of dawn, literally, <laughs> We're nourished and ready to go for today's big game with Alabama. And Shaka has developed quite a relationship with the students here. Turned down big money. A lot of big jobs after that 2011 Final Four run to stay here in Richmond. And he's really got it rolling here in the capital city. Unbelievable job going from the first four to the Final Four two years ago and then get into the big dance. Uh, did a great job beating Wichita State, David Janot, and almost beat Indiana in the second game. Almost got back to the Sweet 16. As an 11 seed, tied for the lowest Final Four seed in NCAA tournament history in 2011. Went all the way to Houston before they lost to Butler. They eventually lost to UConn that year to win the national championship game. Some of the VCU players telling us this morning the shoot around. Last year was so disappointing, only a couple games after the amazing 2011 run. Three different sites, including the first four. Amazing, done a great job there. Musage, a spin move, contact down low. DJ Haley draws the charge. Nice position for the big man. Good perimeter D, good interior D. DJ Haley steps in front. Good job, big fella. Nice job there. Great defense all over the court by the Rams. 15 foul second on Musa Gay, the seven footer. And really the only big man threat Alabama has now that Angstrom has been hurt and out for the year with a torn ACL. Darius Stevens charging the paint. Travion Graham, good hand by Travis Relford there, strip it. And Devontae Power has a loose change. Relaford will hang and can't hit. And that's in the cylinder, wave it off. Nothing going well here for Alabama in terms of the rolls of the breaks in our first half. Great move by Relaford goes in. The teardrop rolls around and around and around. That like, does not go in. Like licorice, but uh, no, Musa got a little too anxious. Good call by the official no offensive question. goal tendon. That cylinder, David, you know, goes right up to the ceiling. You cannot put that hand when the ball is on the rim. This is a big day for Musa again, though. He's 24 years old. Birthday today. Now the Johnson and Carter along three. The one-time commit to Miami in the ACC for Jim Laranega. Changed his course and has become a freshman sensation here at VCU. Alabama only 2 11 for the floor. Rams 7 of 19 in our first half thus far. Levi Randolph lost it again. Havoc defense all over. Long range shot for Johnson. Back iron. This is Bucks on the way up by Travis Relaford. Trevor Relaford will pick up the personal air, getting too physical on the rebound try. 
Great defense, excellent hands. That time Theus gets a piece of it. Graham gets it, kicks it ahead. Here they come. Pull up. Johnson from way downtown misses. Good hustle. Rutherford can't get in foul trouble, Dave. He's the one guy that Alabama can't lose. Jared Guess is into the game for the first time here for BCU. We told you they'll run 11, 12 players out there. Daniels nearly stripped by Levi Randolph. Brandenburg on a weave play. Travion Graham. Deontay Weber. Brandenburg ball movement. Daniel. Stream up. No matter with eight threes against Old Dominion. In BCU's last game, has his second three ball of the day. Relaford blocked. Great defense, BCU. Graham on the move. Daniels a three ball. That's way short this time. But Graham battles. Offensive glass and his puck. All the way up, he'll shoot a couple. It's want to. It's desire. And it's execution like the last time Troy Daniels played. Coach, we told you about the eight threes tying a school record. He's amazing, Dave. He had 94 threes last year, a record for BCU. He lit him up, as you said, against Old Dominion. He gets going. He's like a microwave oven. And here we see Travion Graham, the freight train. He's an assassin, Dave. He scores from anywhere on the court. The Terminator. He's got a team high seven. Daniels tied the record of Bo Jones. Set for BCU in 1999 against George Mason. And he is something from long range. Senior from Roanoke. 157 threes made. His great career. Graham gets the roll. Here comes the pressure. 24 to 7. Graham makes a payoff again. Got in front of the freshman Devontae Pollard. Daniels drives. Wild circus shot. And chance for a three-point play. How about that from Troy Daniels and one. DCU turns great defense into offense. Troy Daniels can shoot it for three. In the lane, great body control, nice finish. Attack the cut, take the hit, throw it up. Nice soft rims. Troy Daniels is a senior to remember for the Rams. Fouls on Paul in second. And Daniels clearly not just a three-point shooter. That was a pretty sweet move in traffic. And through the foul. But can't complete the three-point play. It's just too easy. Had to be challenged a bit. And a bump in the backcourt. And a foul coming here on Jared Guest. BCU is so physical, Dave. The referees can call a foul on almost every possession by Alabama. It's a great point. That's why these games are hard to officiate. They are so aggressive. And that's all part of having. for BCU. Power trying to change that. Does not hit the cutting Randolph. Power pulls up block. Guess got a piece. And a foul is called. Oki Ray for. Got a little aggressive there in the lane. Here we see Pollard attacks the cup. Guess goes up. Great block. Nice job. Foul on a loose ball that time, but Terrific block by Guest. That was called on Jared Guest. That's his second. And a bust out game against Stetson early in the year. A 17.10 rebound double double. San Paulo the free throw line. 1 1. That was a 17 foul first half for VCU. Gets a roll. Coming up on AT&T at the half, live from our CBS Sports Network studios, a look around college basketball. Tim Brando, Doug Gottlieb, Seth Davis. We're going to look at the OT thriller on CBS where Butler upset number one Indiana. Hoosiers' first loss of the year. This on the second free throw. On VCU, keep going to Daniels. He's hot. Whistle outside of paint. 
Foul on Lacey, and that'll be his first. We throw time here for Brandenburg and VCU. So what do you think of Alabama playing well here, trying to get things going, but that huge victory today for Butler out of the Atlantic 10. That was stunning, Dave. I mean, I, I know Butler's very good, but uh, to beat IU, I thought they were the best team in the country. Uh, it's an outstanding team. But, uh, Zeller is the best player in the country, but a tremendous win for Brad Stevens, the Butler coach. Another newcomer to the A-10 this year, along with VCU. 16 great teams in the conference. It'll be difficult to stop once league play starts and all the bids that are coming the A-10's way. It could be a lot. Five, six, maybe seven this year going to the big dance. And how about the A-10 tournament in Brooklyn, New York, Barclays Center, March? That's going to be unbelievable. Our pull up gets a roll, Levante Power. His first field goal. Brandenburg free. Good transition. And count that basket. Goal, tenant call, transition defense, a problem there for Alabama. Down by 16 here in the first half, only 10 first half points. Dave, VCU has defensive pressure that we're seeing, also offensive pressure. You score against them, they push it right back at your neck, they pound the offensive glass, they go off the dribble. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Havoc, havoc, havoc. Puck and Cooper does have the good ball movement field goal. The team's leading rebounder, only 4.7 rebounds a game. That's lowest in the SEC prior to conference play. Diaz with a left. A fine move by Darius Diaz. And the senior has his first bucket. Relaford at the end. Circus shot, beautifully done there by Trevor Relaford. Team leading scorer has his first two of the afternoon. Uh, quickly right back in the front court. Here comes VCU. <laughs> DJ Hill, the seven footer, is bumped before he can get that shot off. Free throws coming here for VCU. Great shooter, but also an excellent driver. Trey Daniels is in the house. He's a special wing for VCU. Itchy dry scalp could be your shampoo. Now there's a Selsun Blue just for itchy dry scalp. Strong itch fighters target the source of scalp itch, while five moisturizers keep hair healthy. No more itch. Selsun Blue itchy dry scalp. Got a clue? Get the blue. Love movies. Verizon Fios is the new way to collect them. Because now you can buy movies right on your TV, and they're yours to own forever. And with FlexView, you can even watch them on your big screen, laptop, tablet, or compatible smartphone. Check out new releases like The Dark Knight Rises, now available to own on demand. Press the on demand button, then new releases to order. Fios, a network ahead. Are you behind on your taxes? Don't try negotiating with the IRS alone. The IRS can take advantage of taxpayers who don't know the law or collection procedures. Ameristar's team of enrolled agents, tax professionals, and CPAs with master degrees in taxation can go to work to protect you from paying too much. Get real tax relief by calling for a free, no obligation consultation. The call is free. The consultation is free. The feeling of relief is better than you can imagine. If you've always wanted an adjustable bed, now you can shop by phone and save on a new Craftmatic. Call for prices and free information. There's no obligation. Discover our 30-day in-home trial. There's no hassle, no pressure, no pain. No salesman will come to your home. Watch TV, read, rest, and relax at a price you can afford. So call for prices and free information. We won't be undersold. Call 1-800-318-7903. That's 1-800-318-7903. Call now. Great start offensively in this game. Trevion Graham, eight points. Same for Troy Daniels to lead VCU. He came on the Havoc really started in the offseason. September, five-day grueling Navy SEALs workout session. Some active Navy SEALs were involved in this. Players did things like lugging 60-pound bags, swimming through the icy river. Boats filled with ice as well. 
And of course, still tug of war for some team building, some morale building, and pretty difficult physical challenges as well. No question. A lot of intensity. They're working on endurance, and physicalness, and uh, bonding. Guys getting together. That really helps them. A few teams, Dave, have been doing that, as you know, the last year or two, but it's really helped VCU and Chaka Smart, as you know, takes part in that. He gets in there with the tug of war and the, all the different things, so uh, he really relates well with his players. Chaka Smart said, I want my guys training like a pack of wild dogs, and that is part of what the Navy SEALs offered them in the offseason to get ready for havoc and a grueling regular season. And clearly it's paid off because this is a difficult team to face. Talk about they lost three games, Wichita State, Duke, and Missouri. Now, those are three very good teams. Wichita State was actually a true home loss. Duke, Missouri, the battle for Atlantis and the Bahamas. One more here for DJ Hayward. Dave, there's a saying, the strength of the wolf is in the pack. Now, these Rams come at you, and a pack of Rams, too, boy. They come at you one after the other, but they really attack. It's very tough to play against these guys, especially in this building. Junior center, seven foot to 50 pounds, hits the second free throw, give him three of the day, and of course, the full court pressure. Off the main free throw. And this will be a season low for a half for Alabama. Their low is coming in, 27 points against Cincinnati. Only 14 points, and now 13 turnovers. You never want to turn over the point number, Pete, to be anywhere near one another. Yeah. This has been a disastrous first 20 minutes. Yeah, well, unbelievable pressure by VCU. And uh, usually, Dave, Alabama takes care of the ball. They usually average 12 turnovers a game. You already got 13. Long range shot. Well, too strong. And the rebound ripped down by Musa Gay. Musa should be graduating today. He's earning his degree at Alabama. Mid-year graduation obviously can't make the ceremony in Tuscaloosa, so he'll walk with his class in the spring. Also, his birthday, as we talked about, Weber gets a little physical off the ball, and a foul called against VCU. Alabama's got to make their free throws, Dave. Have trouble scoring, so free throws are key. So here comes Moose again. Native of Senegal. Transfer from Lake College in Illinois. Misses the free throw. On the front end of the one on one. And the woes for Alabama continue. Not much has gone right in the opening 20 for Anthony Grant's Crimson Tide. Get the ball to the freight train. Trivion Graham off the glass. Right on two. First player double figures in our game today. Gave him 10. Bellifer will stop and go. Baseline. Ball moving. Comes to Randolph. Kick out for Lacey. Ten to shoot. Lob down low, and Randolph with a finish as he cuts on the baseline and jams it home. Levi Randolph, the sophomore from Madison, Alabama, in a pressure move. A little zone by Alabama. I like it. The change of pace day. They might score, but you got to make them think a little bit. The more you make a team think, the slower their feet get. Slows the pace of the game down, too. Even defensively, Alabama needs that. And it could be a lot worse, Coach, if BC was shooting better. He is trying to change that on cue. Rounds out the three. Long range shot. The rep has a loose chain. Fresh 35. Randover kick out in the corner. Long shot. Travion Graham is way off. Under a minute in our first half. BCU from the Atlantic 10. Lacey. Randolph. Good hands. Briante Weber. They call Travion Graham the freight train. Here he comes in traffic. Two guys are banging him. Goes to the cup. Finishes it.
The freight train loves to score in traffic. Takes it. It could be, Dave, down the road, the all-time leading scorer for the VCU Rams. Only a sophomore. This train is the real deal. One of four players scoring double figures for VCU with this relentless pressure. Just over 10 to shoot. 32 first half game clock. Gay is loose down low and nearly hit a circus shot as Grounds and Weber was his, in his face. And Lucia Gay Let's shoot a couple here. Two fouls on Brown Tay Weber. And here comes Musa Gay, shooting just five of ten at 50% from the free throw line this year. Seven footer and a good defensive presence as Anthony Grant told us today in the team shoot around, but offensively he is challenged. Has one more. Jim Rome laying down the smack one of the biggest names in sports. Don't miss Rome presented by Chevrolet. Weeknights at 6 Eastern only on CBS Sports Network, the 24-hour home of CBS Sports. You think with your birthday and graduating, you're missing the ceremony for Musa Gay, a little bit of a distraction? It can't be easy, right, young man like that? Not easy. We're taught to get his degree from a great university, University of Alabama, but uh, that's where he wants to be with his teammates playing, and he'll walk again in May, Dave, right, as you know, so uh, I'm sure uh, he'd love to be there also, but he's with his teammates, and uh, he's really mixing, doing what he loves, loves basketball. Loves the books, but I'm sure basketball might have a slight edge. <laughs> Retton Obasahan, a freshman from Belgium, makes his first appearance here for Alabama in the final moments of our first half. This brings the pressure to Daniels. Eight points for Troy, couple of threes. He's the ace from beyond the arc. Shot clock turned off. Final 10 seconds, first half from Richmond. Here's this. The senior, watched by Relaford. Three seconds, step back, can't hit. Musa Gay tracks down the rebound, that'll do it for the opening 20. Today from Richmond, 33-18. It took Alabama a long time against Shaka Smart's Rams to get going. A season low, only 18 points. Their prior season low had been 27. Against Cincinnati a couple games back. Havoc does, in fact, live here. Anthony Grant's return to Virginia's capital city has not been favorable against Shaka Smart. And Havoc, VCU, a big lead. AT&T at the half is next. Remember that special moment when you knew your biggest, best gift had made it from the top of your list to the bottom of your Christmas tree? Let's get back there. You'll find plenty of great gifts on sale at Bass Pro Shops. Like Redhead Backwoods Cruise and Henley's, your choice only $12.97. Lunker Gear Complete Fishing Combo Kits for under $20. And a mega pack of Wii Hunting and Fishing Games with Controllers for under $40. Plus, kids can get a free picture with Santa. That's right, free. Bye, 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 bye. Santa, we made a video for your trip. Yeah, you can watch it on your sleigh. Okay. Here you go. Oh, thanks, elves. <laughs> I also made you a video. You are so sweet. But you probably shouldn't watch it on the sleigh. Say goodbye to Santa, boy. Share videos instantly with S Beam on the Galaxy S3 and Note 2. Available at Best Buy and Best Buy Mobile Stores. People ask me how I come up with the characters in my movies. I just try to make my 15-year-old self happy. That's what I love about working with my kids. They always teach me something new. Staying close to my family, it matters. The HP NB23 Touch Smart, available at hp.com or these fine retailers. Time against Alabama, VCU 0-4. Against the SEC, 3-26, their last win against the Southeastern Conference team, 2001. Up against Texas A&M. Now in the SEC, they were in the Big 12. History about to change. Great first half for the Rams here. And the havoc, Pete Gillen, so difficult 
to face. What do you look forward to most in the second half? Well, they got to go inside. They don't have great inside scores, but Nick Jacobs, go inside to the big guy and drive the ball. A couple of passes, they drive the ball, make the referees call it. But the first five minutes are key. Alabama's got to, first five minutes got to get back in this game or it's history. Let's update you on the Geico difference makers for today. First for Alabama, Rodney Cooper did have six off the bench to lead the Crimson Tide offensive attack. Did a nice job, 6.3 rebounds. He made himself available. He attacked the basket. Nice job by Cooper. Now for VCU, Trevion Graham did a great job. Uh, it's unbelievable. 52 points in the last five halves. He has 10 today. He's got three rebounds. He's all over the place. He's a terrific play. The freight train is really a, a excellent young guy. He's only a sophomore, but he's got a chance to be the all-time leading scorer at VCU before he's done. Boy, he's a good one. No question about that. First half numbers, points off turnovers. Pete, that stood out to you right away. That jumped out at me, Dave. 13 points off turnovers, and Alabama had 13 turnovers. They averaged 12 for the game. And shooting is pretty close, rebounding assists, but the points off turnovers, 13 to none for Alabama, and 13 miscues by Alabama. Too much, but it's a long game, 40-minute game. First four or five minutes of key to Alabama to try to whittle its lead. If they don't do it, it's going to be almost impossible to come back. Alabama picked sixth in the SEC preseason poll. Kentucky picked to win it again this year. And the visiting Reds head to head with VCU and the home whites. The Havoc defense all over Alabama in the first 20 minutes. Can the Crimson Tide get anything going offensively? In the second half, that's the question. Got to get Lacey going, Dave. He's a good player, very good offensive player. Trevor Lacey for the tie. Got to get going. I'd run some plays for him if I'm Alabama. Randolph nearly walks. Cooper spins. Can't get a roll. Tip up and in. Give that to Rodney Cooper. One of the weaknesses of VCU, and they're not many, Dave, is rebounding off their defensive boards. We saw that. But unfortunately, Alabama is not a great offensive rebounding team. Brandenburg had that tip. Good hands. Lacey. Up court to Cooper. And he's bumps. Trevion Graham will pick up the early foul here in the second half. That's his second. VCU's a great defensive team, Dave, but they got to clear the defensive glass, finish the defense with their possession. They didn't do that. And Cooper tipped it in. So that's the one. I'm looking for an Achilles heel. There isn't one, but I'm looking for a little pimple, uh, and that's the small pimple on VCU's resume is rebounding off the defensive glass is not great. Not easy for the lefty Cooper to shoot into the student section. He'll have one more. Shoot 64.3% from the line coming in. We talked about Rodney leading this team at 4.7 rebounds a game. That was a surprisingly low stat when we looked at the numbers this week. That's lowest in the SEC. And one of the lowest in the country to lead his team. Hits the second. Only Cody Clark of Arkansas is close in the SEC, leading his team in rebounding at 5.4 a game. That's pretty low. Yeah. As you know, Dave, they lost two great big guys, Alabama. To Michael Reed, Green was terrific, and Tony Mitchell. Tony Mitchell they got rid of because he was uh, with problems off the court, whatever it was. And uh, Jermichael Green graduated, so you got a 6'8", 240-pound guy. Jermichael Green graduated, Tony Mitchell, 6'6", 220-pound junior. Both average 14 and 13 points respectively, so you lose those two guys, Dave. That's a big hit for Alabama. Green led the team in rebounding and scoring last year, and quick timeout called as Cooper couldn't get it in, but he did not get the timeout in time, and a five-second call against Alabama, and the Rams will get it right back here. And we see good pressure. Uh, Travion Graham. Well, five seconds. Sometimes you're at home, but it becomes three seconds. But uh inbound play. Graham way long. Misfires on the shot try. Good save on the corner by Travion Graham. But comes right to Alabama. Levi Randolph. Back for Lacey. Lacey through the paint. Hangs. Can't get a roll though. Gay the rebound. Strong blocked away. Reddick, big time rejection. Weber at the end of finish. Briante Weber's first field goal of the game. It's a big basket. Two Alabama had. And BCU comes back at him. And Alabama had scored the first three points of the second half and a reach on the pressure defense. As Coach Gillen astutely pointed out earlier, there's physical play every time BCU plays defense. Lacey can't make it. Moose again. That pump fake, big fella. Pump fake. He has a pump fake. He eats it. 
And now, Briante Weber, one of the quickest guards in the country, takes it to the coop. Havoc gets his big hoop, Mr. Havoc, with the basket. There are a lot of Mr. Havocs on this roster. You're right. Now, fouls on Grand Coach. The team's leading scorer is to the bench for BC with three personals. A little foul trouble emerging here for the Rams. Real big possession now for Alabama. They can score, get into the press. They'll get the confidence going. Lacey having trouble staying on his feet. Gay for Relaford. He's the leading scorer, but has not been effective today offensively at all. Finds Lacey. Free ball. You bet. That's a big basket for Alabama. Trevor Lacey's first points of the day. He is the leading three-point shooter in the SEC at 44.7% from beyond the arc. Need to that one. Here's this. Reddick the trailer. Barry's a long shot from 17. Well, that's a dagger type shot for BCU. Exactly. When your big man trailing from long range can hit. Cooper had a strip kick out Relaford. Good ball movement. Randolph. Long range shot. Barely got some iron. Cooper rebounding hard, but then had a strip. Landerberg on the move. Through traffic. Elevates, but he missed it up. He was fouled on the way up. Athletic play by Rob Brandenburg, and he'll shoot two. That was something. Brandenburg's the X Factor. He's lightning quick, also splits a double D, tries to pump it, gets fouled. Look at it, boom, inside out, broke ankles, went by him, attacked the cup. Ooh. I don't know a helmet, Dave. Yeah, it was on Levi Randolph. That's his first. Brandenburg will shoot a couple here. You can tell when he had the speed for the basket, he was going to go up for the flush. And Junior has one more well, just outside Columbus, Ohio. Something Shaka Smart has worked with Brandenburg on becoming. In Shaka's words to us, a rattlesnake. A little more aggressive, a little more tough. Sometimes he's a little too nice. As Oki Ray for the sophomore from London, England, comes back in. Dave, they're coming at you waves and waves. They're going to wear down Alabama, I'm afraid. Last six, seven minutes of the game, I think Alabama's really going to be fatigued. He takes a seat. Brandenburg who had a five for five game from the floor against Duke. In the battle for Atlantis in the Bahamas. A seven today. And of course, pressure with a 15 point lead. Rutherford, DS all over. Finds Jacobs. Double team. Brandenburg helps out. Randolph can't find the loose ball. Officials confer who's got it. Alabama. Jacob's got to wake up. He's like uh, in a rocket chair. He's a man. He's a big, physical, strong player. And we see going for the ball. Yeah, Looks like it went all Theus. He's got a better angle. We got a great camera crew. Good call. Good call by the officials. Doing a great job, Dave. It's a very difficult game to officiate. 23 to shoot here for Bama. The Trevor Trevor show. Rutherford and Lacey teams leading scores have not been effective offensively today. It's got to change for Alabama to have any chance in the second half. Here is Rutherford right on cue. Under 10 to shoot. Rutherford pulls up. Two to shoot. Fall away. Back iron. Tipped up and in. Nice effort down low by Devontae Pollard. His second field goal has got five. Will bounce pass trying to hit Reddick, but Jacobs, nice defensive position. And it's a turnover. Give the ball right back to Alabama. They have another big defensive possession now. If Alabama can score, cut it to 11 or cut it to 10, their confidence will zoom and they might get, be able to get back in this game. I think Lacey's a key because he can really score. Crossover dribble, pulls up with the paint and a tough hanging shot. Trevor Relaford, team's winning score, 17 a game. Oki Ray four breaks the press and runs into trouble in the baseline. And Pius bails him out. Oh, that was lucky, Dave. He almost had a layup on that. Can't take bows when you score if you're Alabama. Get back. Very quick. Brandenburg pulls up. Long race three, Rob Brandenburg. 
second three ball today for him. Give him ten. And a double figures. Lacey trying to hit Jacobs. Uncatchable pass. Leading us to a timeout. Havoc. Means Ram Nation. The student section just loves it. You guys like Call of Duty? <laughs> yup. You guys ever seen Call of Duty in 3D? Whoa! You're fighting freaking a future robot! You're all in it! It's all up in you! In 3D, the games are deeper, and the explosions are out! <laughs> Explosion here! <laughs> you know what they say, right, boys? Once you go 3D... <laughs> yeah! You get it. Call of Duty in 3D on a whole new level with LG. You work, you play, you type, you connect. But the one thing you haven't done on a notebook is touch. Extend your reach with the all new HP Envy 4 Touch Smart Ultrabook with Intel Core i3 processor, only at Best Buy. Chances are you're not made of money, so don't overpay for boat insurance. GEICO. See how much you could save. College basketball on CBS Sports Network is being brought to you by Hanes. Now all Hanes underwear is tagless. Go tagless. By the Volkswagen Jetta. That's the power of German engineering. And by PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale. Only on PS3 and PlayStation Vita. Rated T for Teen. 17th Street Farmer's Market, downtown Richmond. Not far from where we are here on Broad Street. As it's known, basketball time. On Broad Street here at the VCU campus. Already 16 miscues beat, tying a season high for Alabama. And got a long way to go here in the second half. Exactly, Dave. They really come after you this pressure year. And, uh, they're not used to this. There's a havoc defense. They trap you right over half court. Physical, they bother you. They hit you, they bite you in the sneaker, they come after you. Now, they really come after you here now. If you don't get it over, here we see a 10-second violation by Alabama. You gotta get over half court more than before 10 seconds, now they get stripped. Yeah. And we see it a foul, so they come at you, David, you know what I mean? And they come at you one after the other. Guys come off the bench just as quick, just as intense. Tremendous numbers defensively. They also average 11.3 steals a game, six in the nation coming in. The turnover high for Alabama was against Oregon State earlier this year. And they're sure to set a new high this year. Guest free. And when Jared Guest comes off the bench, he buries a 15-footer. It's a guy who averages three points a game. We're going to have a big day. What depth VCU has. Levi Randolph, tough shot with a left guest. Got too physical and commits a foul. So you got to do, you got to attack the basket. Don't go east and west, Dave, go right at the rim. Make the referees call a foul. You got to make them now. They're not doing a good job on a free throw line. First half, they shot very poorly from the free throw line. Alabama, six for ten. You got to do better than that. Better than that, sixty percent. That was on guess. That's his third. Randolph will have one more. Levi up to six for the day. Speaking of free throws against Dayton, the last game, Randolph, Lacey, and Relaford combined 20 for 20 from the line. Levi mm -hmm. Randolph was six for six, Lacey the same, and Relaford was eight for eight. When VCU lost to Wichita State here in Richmond, they only shot 51% from the free throw line. So today they're doing much better. Randolph shoots about 64%. Coming to this one, here's some pressure off the main free throw. Melvin Johnson helps get it across the midcourt line. Loki Ray for the sophomore from Europe. 
We'll get it set up around the point. Some of the scorers are out for VCU now. It's a chance for Alabama to make a little run. They can play that good defense. Johnson hangs off the glass. He'll hit some instant offense for the freshman. A preseason A-10 all-rookie team member showing us why. Randolph will drive with a left blocked away by DJ Haley. The center footer off the VCU bench. This has got to be one of the deepest teams in the country. Exactly. And they're all very athletic, very quick, and very good. As Haley finishes up on a good feed for Loki Rayford. Obasahan, and that deflected on the way to the basket. Dave, if I was coaching against VCU, first thing I would do I would get helmets for all my players and the coaches. <laughs> and the coaches, they need them too? I bring one. Tough place to play. Great. Nice job here. Haley protects the cup. Randolph goes in. Nice block. Good hands. They reward the big guy. Excellent defense, but get the ball inside. Let the big dog eat. Nice job, nice finish. Playing both ends for the big fella. I love it when the big guy does well. Haley, the first seven-footer in VCU history in the last 10 years. Well, for an inbound play, but can't hit the open look. And the rebound comes away to Fiatz. Daniels never afraid. Put that long-range shot. Johnson takes and hits. Second three, Melvin Johnson. A little aggressive in the backcourt with a bump on this. Fans don't care. Yeah, very aggressive. Dave. They're bumping you and holding you and grabbing you. Once again, the are doing a good job, but they're letting them play. So here we see nice pass to the corner. Johnson raises up, splash. They start raining threes. Better warm up the bus. Nice pass by Daniels. One extra pass. Johnson with a big time three deep in the corner. Fans appreciative of D.J. Haley's effort. Now the red Pollard takes it right to the basket. And a nice finish for Devontae. Who may be the most athletic player on the team, Anthony Grant tells us. We need that athleticism and a whole lot more. Daniels again. Long three, bangs it home. Third three ball, Troy Daniels. He's got 11. Relaford hangs in. Chance for a three point play. Pretty looking basket by Trevor Rilliford. Foul on the way up. Daniels, long range three. Pete showing us why he hit a school record eight against Old Dominion in the Rams' last game. He can be hot and cold. They watched one of the earlier games against Belmont where he was not a factor from three point range here in Richmond. Now, once again, he gets going. He's like a microwave oven. He heats up, Dave. You can get five or six and a half, as we mentioned before, eight against Old Dominion in the game. So you got to play him. Relaford completes a three point play. That foul was on Javante Reddick, his third. And just like that, Jared Guess is back into the game. You know, an interesting chat you and I today with Darius Theus, the star senior guard here at BCU, about playing time. You see the guys come in and out, kind of on a rotation wheel. And he said, we all get our minutes. They just aren't consecutive minutes. Sometimes we'll be out after two minutes, but we know we've done the job well. Coach Smart wants to continue that rotation. It's not easy for players to try to get that rhythm, right? Exactly. When you come out, you rest for a couple minutes. You're feeling real good. You're playing well. And you sit for three or four minutes. It's tough, but they get used to it. Right now, Dave, the story is BCU first half, four for 17 from three. Second half, three for four. Now three for five. They got hot from threes. Obasahan has the defensive glass off the miss from Daniels in the corner. And Guest picks up his fourth personal. Anthony Grant returning to the Seagull Center, former stopping grounds. David Pete, former head coach at Xavier, Musketeers all time winningest coach. And long faces on the man on the bench. They are down by a lot. 54 35. VCU trying to get its first ever win in school history against Alabama, 0 4 all time. And if you're wondering why Coach Grant has taken on VCU, part of his exit package when he left 
VCU for Alabama was he had to play a home and home. It was in his contract. As Rutherford pulls up, can't hit with VCU. They played last year in Tuscaloosa, Crimson Tide win. Got to play here this year. Same thing for Jeff Capel, who was coached in Oklahoma. He had to come back here. He got knocked off, and they played out in Oklahoma. Oklahoma won. So uh, it's a great move by VCU. If we help a guy move on to the next level, make more money, let's have a little something for us when we play a contract game for two years, one home, one away. Three straight years, the CAA Colonial Athletic Association champion when Anthony Grant was here. And a five second call against Theus. That's an unusual turn with this senior. Leading us to a timeout. But Darius and company having a big game against the former VCU head coach Anthony Grant. When it comes to the financial obstacles military families face, we understand. At USAA, we know military life is different. We've been there. That's why every bit of financial advice we offer is geared specifically to current and former military members and their families. <laughs> Dad! Life brings obstacles. USAA brings advice. Call or visit us online. We're ready to help. special moment when you knew your biggest best gift had made it from the top of your list to the bottom of your Christmas tree let's get back there you'll find plenty of great gifts on sale at Bass Pro Shops like Redhead Sherpa Line Buffalo Flannel Shirts for under $20 Redhead Men's Lodge Mocks for under $20 and Jumbo Adventure Play Sets for under $35 plus kids can get a free picture with Santa that's right free Great chicken sandwich. Oh, yeah, it is. Whoa, what's going wow. on there? Wow. I just got my mind blown. Because it's so good? So good. Yeah, I like to make note of every time my mind's been blown. This oh, is number 53. Nice. First was being born. That makes sense. Two, obviously. my first hat. Oh. Yeah. Every other time it's been here, it's on. Yeah, I know, man. It is such a good sandwich. <laughs> Woo! 54. The Asiago Caesar Chicken Sandwich. Part of our all new premium chicken lineup. And try our new chocolate mint holiday shake. This is how you Sonic. Check out the most anticipated game of the year, Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Available now, rated mature. Tough day for Alabama. Great day for VCU. Three pointers. Pete Gillen, a big difference, especially in the second half. Exactly. First half, they were cold, four for 17. Second half, red hot, three for five. Different guy. Johnson buries that one. Here we see Daniels, the best three point shooter on the team. 94 last year. Knocked it in. They're coming at you, Dave. Everybody there. All can knock it in. Three player double figures for VCU. The Rams had four scoring in doubles heading into this game today. Three straight win for VCU. Entering our game this afternoon. Alabama, a two game losing streak, about to be three straight. And Pete, this will be, at least on pace, their lowest scoring effort of the season. Alabama scored 56 in a loss at Cincinnati. December 1st, uh, two point setback on the road to the Bearcats of the Big East. We 
figured watching game film, talking with players and coaches, that Havoc would be a, a lot for Alabama to handle. Alabama averages 70 points a game, Dave, so they're a good scoring team, but this defense from uh, VCU has been suffocating. That's a good way to describe it. They are everywhere defensively. It's so deep. Lacey ball movement. Obasahan with a miss in the corner. Lacey's a great shooter. He's got to take that one. Obasahan is a red shirt freshman. He's he's not the guy. He's a good shooter, but Lacey's a terrific shooter. Best in the SEC, a three-point shooter. Pete, you're right about that. 45 percent from beyond the arc, and the team second leading scorer. He's got to take those. He's got to want the day. He's got to want it. Melvin Johnson wants it all right. There is a long triple for the freshman from the Bronx. Third three of the game for Melvin Johnson. Another great player for VCU off the bench. Cooper way strong from 17. Haley clears the defensive glass for the Rams. Daniels feeling it too. Give him four threes on the day. He's halfway to time that record. Dave, when you play against Daniels, you have to make him dribble it. Make him put the ball on the deck. Obasa on the way up. Troy Daniels, too much room. Nobody's near him. Raises up. That's like a layup for him. That's easy. It's a layup. Great shooter as a senior. Terrific player. Hard worker. 94 threes last season. All-time leading three-point scorer in VCU history. He's a, an assassin. 159 threes in the career now for Troy Daniels. He's eighth all time by himself. Today he surpassed Willie Taylor's 156 threes. As Retin Obasaha will have one more. Freshman from Belgium played for the Belgian national team last summer in the U20 under 20 World Championships. One of three players from that country in Division One basketball this year, Washington and NC State, also have players from Belgium. Mm -hmm. His first point of the day. Here comes David Hinton, the walk-on grad student, who's about to get his master's. We had a nice chat with David today. He is the lone holdover on the VCU roster from the Anthony Grant era. Uh, walk-on and a redshirt. Anthony left four years ago to Tuscaloosa from here in Richmond. Has a undergrad already a degree in Homeland Security. Wants to be a member of the Secret Service or the FBI one day. Could be a nice young man, Dave, and spoke very highly of Anthony Grant, who recruited him, recruiting walked on, and uh, happy to see his old coach again. But when the game start, it's business. Happier to see the score, I'm sure. <laughs> right now, it's all Rams. And a foul. Obasan gets too aggressive. And Ritten will have his first personal. Ritten Obasan is his second as well. Team foul number two on the tie. Levi Randolph returns for Alabama. Randolph back he in. Spells Trevor Relliford. Trevor Relliford takes a seat for Bama. Lopsided loss for Alabama. It'll be some soul searching time at Tuscaloosa, a team with that 6 0 start peak. Had some high hopes for a great year. But they didn't play a real challenging schedule, Dave. Uh, and they're not going to see too many teams like this in the SEC. Good teams, but not pressure defensive teams. Graham, a beast on the boards, and Travion Graham finishes another hoop inside. He's only 6 5, a sophomore from Washington, D.C., just again, the want to, the battle of the paint. Lacey pulls up, can't get a roll of a foul. And Trevor Lacey headed to the free throw line. The sellout crowd does not agree with the on-court officiating crew. He had the ball, but he might have had his arm also, Dave. Nice job attacking the cup by Lacey. He's got his arm too. He had the ball, but I thought Weber had his arm also. Good call, buddy. Weber picks up his third personal foul, coming off a big game against Old Dominion. Eight points, nine rebounds, ten assists, nearly a triple double for Briante Weber. Lacey has one more. You know, Dave, for Alabama, you probably can't win this game, but you want to play well 
the last nine and a half minutes to feel good about your next game. So it's important that they just keep competing, keep swinging. With the VCU, you want to keep good habits. Nipsey footwork. Kept the dribble alive. Good play by Trevion Grant. Looking Ray for just over 20 to shoot for the home team here. Daniels, been so tough on three point range. He's got four in the game. Like I said, Melvin Johnson steal by Lacey. Obasaha for Randolph. Long range. Three is good for Levi Randolph. His first triple of the day. Give him 10 points on the afternoon. Nice job. They swum the ball, Dave, side to side. Had a good look. 18, Levi Randolph's career best last year in SEC play against Mississippi State. Ramp set up in the half court. A strong hitting. A challenge. And a walk on. Trying to make an impression here for head coach Shaka Smart. Nice pick and roll. Hitting goes up strong. Nice block by Abbasahan. He gets up wow. there. Young man from Belgium. Ever. He's got some hops there. And that was something. How about Abbasahan at 6-1? The fans want a foul. Will not get any contact. But off the inbound play. Another three for Daniels. Five triples of the game. He's got 17. And BCU is just way too much for Alabama today. They have not many teams in the country are going to come in here and beat these guys in this building now. Wichita State did it. It's not going to happen too often. Last year, we were 13 and 1 in this building. I don't think they're going to lose too often when they play like this. 17th turnover for Anthony Grant's team. Big day and night. College basketball on CBS Sports Network. Cincinnati stayed unbeaten. Beat Marshall, your former assistant Tommy Harry, in Charleston, West Virginia today. And later tonight, we'll see New Mexico. New Mexico State Lobos and Steve Alford undefeated. Off to a great start at 10-0. It should be a great game. I believe it's at New Mexico State, Dave. So very dangerous for the Lobos. It's going to be a terrific game on CBS Sports Network. This one all Rams all the time. Dominant for Coach Shaka Smart. If Golden Corral charges one low price for their new sirloin filet, plus you could get seconds or more. We're going to Golden Corral! Our new non-stop USDA sirloin filets are steakhouse amazing and grilled just the way you like. Plus our endless shrimp only at Golden Corral. Santa! 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 Santa. Oh, oh, oh. Wanna see some magic? Watch this! Merry Christmas! I landed on my keys. Did you get that? Oh, yeah. That was amazing. Here you go. That was a fun trick. See? Santa's Walk okay. It off, Santa. Share videos instantly with s -Beam on the Galaxy S3 and Note 2. For a limited time, get two flip covers for the price of one, exclusively at Verizon. The smoked Chipotle burrito is really good. Yeah, my zesty cheesesteak burrito is great. Are you familiar, Pete, with the phrase, don't mess with success? Yeah. Because this is not only messing with success, this is taking success to the cliff and shoving success over. Success said, oh, please, I'll do anything. Leave me alone. These burritos didn't even hear that. They heard, oh, put, and that was it. It was just like, wah. <laughs> Egg everywhere. Wake up to sirloin steak and fluffy eggs with the new zesty cheese steak and smoked chipotle breakfast burritos. This is how you sonic. Hi, I'm Joan London, and if you're worried about your parent or a loved one living alone like I was, and you want reliable senior care information, then call A Place for Mom, the nation's largest senior living referral service. With one phone call, you'll get free information on assisted living, Alzheimer's care, nursing homes, even important financial information. It's a free service, so call now. 800-241-5065. 800-241-5065. Stop your auto repair bills now. If you own a car, call to see if a service contract from Stop Repair Bills could save you thousands of dollars. When you own a car, SUV, or truck, sooner or later it will need repair. Just one transmission job could cost over three grand. A new engine could cost over four grand. But you won't have to pay a cent. You even choose the repair shop. Then we get them paid directly. The sooner you call, the sooner you're covered. Call right now for a free quote that could save you thousands. Call 800-513-0086. 
If you've got IRS tax problems, don't try to take on the government yourself. Call the National Tax Help Center. We're the National Tax Help Center, and we're going to deal with the IRS for you. If you have unpaid taxes, call right now. The call and consultation were free. We can remove penalty and interest charges for individuals and businesses. If you owe the IRS, they may legally take money from your paycheck every month, but we're not going to let that happen. Call the National Tax Help Center. 1-800-488-2659. All right, Coach Go, let's recap with the AT&T game summary. Points off turnovers again, as we said at halftime, a big factor. Exactly, Dave. 17 points off turnovers for VCU. Great job. Alabama, season-high 17 turnovers. VCU gets great help off the bench. Terrific depth. Three guys with 10 points. And they're holding Alabama to 37% for the field, so tremendous job. Yep. Dr. Smart saying, hey, just keep doing what we're doing. Keep the pressure on. Game's not over with. Keep attacking. And they're about to get the 65 points and when they do under Shaka, 72 and 15 record. They've won 31 of the last 32. Let's revisit our keys to the game here, Pete. Alabama, we said, had to get off to a good start. That did not happen. And really, since then, nothing's gone well for the Crimson Tide. Exactly. Get off to a good start. They're down 11 to 2. Cut down turnovers. They have 17 today. They average 12. It points off turnovers, yes, 17 to 6 for VCU. Knock down threes, 36% is good. So right now, VCU is doing the keys to the game, and unfortunately, Alabama is not. Okay, Ray for Watch by Relaford, and a whistle off the ball. Things get physical down low. First of is Josh, the number 24. Devontae Powell is going to pick it up. Four fouls on Powell. Devontae was Mr. Basketball, state of Mississippi last year. From Porterville, east of Jackson on the Alabama border. Obasahan beats down low. Getting an opportunity here at Dakota Slaughter. The junior walk on from Fishers, Indiana, seeing his first action. Nice job, good defense by Alabama, led to offense, a nice steal. They stripped Graham and it came down and attacked the cup and got fouled. Andy Grant told us today that Dakota could see some action. Only two points, less than a rebound a game. Shooting 50% from the free throw line. Because the numbers have been diminished by injury. I told you about Carl Engstrom, the seven foot center. Torn ACL and MCL on his left knee. Had surgery this week done for the season. So depth has been a big issue. Andrew Steele also from Birmingham, a 6'4 swingman coach out with hernia surgery. He'll be out for the next four to six weeks. Exactly. They missed both those big guys. And once again, Dave, Alabama's weakness is their interior. They don't have a guy who can score inside consistently. They lost to Michael Green, who graduated 6'8, 240, and Tony Mitchell, 6'6, 220. Both of them averaged 14 and 13 points, respectively, so they missed them. Veteran big guys that can score. Only eight scholarship players right now on the roster for Anthony Grant. And that is not bode well for Bama as you push toward conference play in a very deep and talented SEC. In addition to Missouri this year makes it even harder. Exactly. SEC is an excellent conference, but I'll tell you, Dave, I think the 8-10 top to bottom is a better conference. They have more guys in the RPI right now, top 100. They have 11 in the top 100 in the RPI. 11 of 16 teams. The SEC has seven. So SEC is a fine league, but 8-10, I think, from top to bottom is stronger. 10 to shoot. Brandenburg for Trevion Grant. With just over seven remaining from Richmond. And Graham is booked by Randolph. Too bad for Bama. That's really good offensive half-court possession. What's coming up for Alabama? Texas Tech from the Big 12, Mercer Tulane of Conference USA. And then they'll start up in the SEC against a very good Mizzou team. Yeah, those teams before shouldn't be too much of a challenge, but at Mizzou, Dave's going to be very tough for Alabama. They could win it, but Missouri would be a big favorite in that game. Haley checks out. Grant mishandles. Brandenburg has a loose change in the paint. And he's resets in the half court to Theus. Kind of feels like the Memphis crowd. Small arena, but great basketball IQ from the fans here. They really understand the game well. Great and fans. He's fell. Yep. Great fans, very sophisticated. They love basketball. 
They don't have football. Basketball's important. What's coming up for the Rams? Western Kentucky, good team in the Sun Belt. Longwood, FDU, East Tennessee State, and Lehigh from the Patriot League. An interesting matchup. The Mountain Hawks coming off that tremendous run last year. All the way to the third round of the NCAA tournament. Of course, upset Duke in the second round. I think they're going to be fine, Dave. I think they're going to roll through it. The biggest challenge will be Lehigh. C.J. McCollum is an outstanding guard for Lehigh, but I, I think uh, VCU is going to go on a roll today. They've got three wins. This could be four today, looks like. I think they could put together a real good streak. Another. Dave, we talked to Graham yesterday. I asked him a question. I said, who were the last two schools to recruit you? He said, VCU and Cleveland State. Two good schools, but a lot of schools would love to have this young man. Slaughter nice pass down low to Devontae Pollard, who finishes off. Give Devontae the freshman from Porterville, Mississippi, nine on the day. New Mexico to Mexico State is coming up next on CBS Sports Network from the pit in Albuquerque. Steve Alford's Lobos undefeated this year. It's one of their all-time rivals. It's usually a great game, Dave. I love those emotional rival games. Almost 28-7 last year. Third round of the big dance. Won the Mountain West Tournament in Vegas. Beat San Diego State in the championship game. They're good. Slaughter trying a long-range shot. And a walk-on. Nice hustle on the baseline, but he can't corral it. And VCU gets it back. Speaking about big rivals, we're going to have VCU and Richmond coming up in a few weeks on CBS Sports Network. That should be a lot of fun. The battle for Richmond. A lot of big headlines in college basketball today. The biggest Butler in overtime over in-state rival Indiana. Number one team in the AP poll undefeated Hoosiers lose their first of the year. Another big headline, certainly, Pete. You have big ties to the Big East Conference. The seven schools report all week they might depart the Big East, announcing today that it is official and they will leave the Big East Conference. Big question marks of realignment. Weber, the runner, and a miss, and Randolph can't find the hand. Uh, it's amazing, Dave. You know, I worked at some of those schools. I was assistant at Villanova, head coach at Providence, uh, some great schools there. We banged heads with Georgetown when I was coaching at Providence, so those seven schools leaving, leaving the uh, Big East. It's amazing. They might add a couple of schools. Who knows? So uh, times are changing in college basketball. So much change. Conference USA, four programs going for all sports next year. Tulane will go as well in the future for all sports. East Carolina goes only for football. That's happening a couple years down the road. Tremendous. Change in college athletics as Relaford is fell in the way of the basket. And Pete, you have ties to the Big East. I mean, being a head coach, of course, at Providence, great success, brought the Friars to the Elite Eight, assistant coach at Notre Dame. They're going to the ACC, and your time at Villanova. Exactly. I was assistant at Villanova for two years for a great coach, Rolly Massimino. Dave was coming on his 700th win. The next two or three weeks could get number 700. So he was a legend. I learned a lot from working with Coach Rolly Massimino. So I have a lot of ties, as you mentioned. It's amazing, and they're going to add a couple more. They have seven. They're going to add, who knows who they'll add. We have some thoughts, but right now we've got to keep that under best. Of, keep tuning in to CBS Sports Network. We'll let you know. <laughs> well, for it's the second. Returning for the Crimson Tide is number five, Trevor Lacey. He's Lacey is back in in this one-sided game. This <laughs> you about to go to seven and three on the year. As we talked about the three losses, although that is a lot for early season against very good teams. You know, Missouri and Duke are absolutely NCAA tournament bound. So is Wichita State in all likelihood. Obasa on it, strip. Nice play there by Briante Weber, who slams into the basket support. Great hustle by Weber. He's amazing, Dave. But great hands. Comes out of nowhere. He had 10 steals against Florida Gulf Coast early in the season. He's Mr. Havoc. The team is Havoc, but to me, he's Mr. He's unbelievable. For sunrise, huh? No question about that. And there's a reason he wears the headband, by the way. We'll tell you about it. Slaughter, a little bounce pass in the corner. And hitting is Pollard. Turns out that Weber is a big fan of Johnny Flynn, the former Syracuse superstar point guard, who was the Minnesota Timberwolves first-round draft pick a couple years back, now playing professionally in Australia. 
That's why where's the headband? We had to get a Syracuse exactly, reference in. Dave, I was At least one. Say, That's part of your contract. This is late. You I mean, mentioned four and a half alma. left. It's my first Cuse reference. You mentioned your alma mater every game, and they deserve to be mentioned. So they have to get closer to 900. Exactly, Dave. So you fulfill your contract, Dave. I'm proud of you. Mention the Cuse. Give them love. Have to do it. Power kicks out. Slider on the corner. Short. On a three. DJ Hale is drawing offensive glass. Again for VCU. Hughes plays Canisius tonight, by the way. Yep. Jimmy Barron's the coach of Canisius. They're doing a real good job, but I think the Cuse should be a little bit too talented for the Golden Griffins of Canisius. New Mexico State, New Mexico coming up. 17th ranked Lobos throwing a pit in Albuquerque. 209th all time meeting between those rivals in the land of enchantment in New Mexico. The Rio Grande rivalry renewed. That's coming your way next. After we put a cap on VCU's big win over Alabama. If Golden Corral charges one low price for their new sirloin filet, plus you could get seconds or more. We're going to Golden Corral! Our new non-stop USDA sirloin filets are steakhouse amazing and grilled just the way you like. Plus our endless shrimp only at Golden Corral. Rated M for mature. Hey, you guys like Call of Duty? <laughs> yeah. You guys ever seen Call of Duty in 3D? Whoa! You're fighting freaking a future robots! You're all in it! You. The deep start deeper and the explosion's <laughs> You know what they say, right, boys? Once you go 3D, <laughs> yeah, you get it. Call of Duty in 3D on a whole new level with LG. Hey. Who's that? Oh, that's Rob. When I uh, lived in this apartment, the 49ers won the Super Bowl. I used to watch every game from this exact this exact spot. This exact spot. I didn't know what else to do. This is my lucky seat, man. The team needs me, man. Bud Light, for the fans who do whatever it takes. Hope Springs. I want a real marriage again. Mm -hmm. From the director of The Devil Wears Prada. I'm so glad you're here. Well, that makes one of us. I feel good. Feels like you're petting a dog. Meryl Streep, Tommy Lee Jones, Steve Carell. We're doing so well, we might be able to get out of here early. <laughs> okay, what? next step. What is it? Hold hands in public, sing a serenade. It's sex. We should just get our things and go. Gotta keep you Hope Springs. Press the on demand button on your remote to get this great new release and own it forever with FlexView. If you used an ice-cold therapy machine, this message is for you. If you or a loved one used an ice-cold therapy machine and were seriously injured, call the Goldwater Law Firm right now. If you had ice therapy after your surgery and now have any of these injuries, call us right now. You may be entitled to financial compensation. If you or a loved one used an ice-cold therapy machine after surgery and were injured, call 1-800-861-2037. That's 1-800-861-2037. I live alone, so when I slipped and fell in the kitchen last month and couldn't get to a phone, that's when I knew I needed Life Alert. With just one press of this button, I'm connected to the Life Alert Center, where I can get the help I need, even when I cannot reach a phone. With Life Alert, I'm never alone. Call 1-800-863-0298 for your free Life Alert brochure. That's 1-800-863-0298. Again, 1-800-863-0298. Who can forget Shaka Smart 2011, the final four in Houston, lost to Butler. Step inside each game, changing highlight as our experts bring you up to the minute analysis. Don't miss Inside College Basketball Wednesday at 6.30 Eastern, only on CBS Sports Network. They'll be talking hoops, of course, on that show. But right now, Tuscaloosa are thinking a lot about college football. Notre Dame, one of your former stops, you were Digger Phelps assistant in South Bend playing Alabama. I believe it's going to be an Alabama win in a close game. What do you think? Well, Dave, you know a lot more about football than I do. Broadcasting for CBS Sports Network doing football. But I'm going with the Fighting Irish. They won close games. They won blowouts. It's their year. They won a lot by a couple, overtime, under time, every time. The Irish, I think, are going to win by three. 17-14, mark it down in a big upset. I've got Bama winning 2014 in a defensive type game over Notre Dame. It's going to be a lot of fun to watch 
Nick Saban head to head with Brian Kelly. That'll be something. He's a legend. You're hearing whispers that Saban might go to the NFL. I don't think so, but I'm hearing some whispers. My sources. But not as good as your sources. But, uh, By the way, now it's official. I did vote for Johnny Manziel. Johnny oh, yeah. Heisman. I was wrong. Not Johnny football. Day. Yeah, I. How uh, about that? I was wrong. I, I thought Teo would get it from Notre Dame. No, that's your Notre Dame guy. That's the thing. Haley's got another free throw coming up here. A little partial, Dave. I, I put my cards on the table. I have no. Uh, Vested interest in other things. Earlier tonight, he was singing the Notre Dame fight song. <laughs> it's the only one I know. When I was at Providence in Virginia. I sang the Notre Dame fight song. They didn't like that too much. That's the only one I know. Lobo Zag is coming up. 17th rank. New Mexico. Led by head coach Steve Alford at the pit in Albuquerque. That's on the way at CBS Sports Network. Undefeated. New Mexico at 10 0 this year. One of three ranked teams in the Mountain West, along with San Diego State and UNLV. That's a loaded conference, too. We see a lot on CBS Sports Network. Foul there on DJ Haley. That's his fourth. Yeah, Mountain West, a great conference, Dave. Uh, I tell you, Steve Fisher from San Diego State, his first win was against my Xavier team when he took over at Michigan, the NCAA tournament. So I helped get his career going. And they won the national title, as you know, back in 1987. Carr's got one more. Anthony Grant made a very tough return to where he had such success here in Richmond. Haley takes a seat, gets a standing up. And there have been a lot of those and a lot of high fives and smiles on the Ram bench today for good reason with this huge lead. Carr's got one more free throw here. Dave, if I'm Anthony Grant in Alabama, I'm a little worried about my team. It's the third loss in a row. Three horrible starts. Uh, they got athletes. He's a terrific coach and a good point guard, but no inside scoring. They don't rebound that well. They can't score inside. So he's got some work to do to get back to the NCAA tournament like they went last season. Not a great loss to Creighton last year in the second round in a last second game. Could have gone either way. Three pretty good teams in Cincinnati, Dayton, and VCU, two of which are definitely going to big dance. And I think Dayton's got a great chance on Archie Miller to do that as well. Exactly. Dayton's got an outstanding team, so they played good people, but if you're Alabama, you've got to win at least one of those games. Four fouls on Levi Randolph. We had a nice chat with Shaka Smart today. I asked him, Coach, when you and I were talking with him about fast forward from 2011, the final four to now, what has happened, where's the program going, and he just couldn't be happier. Staying, getting a long extension. And making a name for himself in Richmond. Young guy, 35 years old at the time of that great final four run. Exactly, played at Kenyon College from 1995 to 1999, was a point guard, and. Uh, Done an unbelievable job here. He worked with some great people. Oliver Purnell, he worked for him uh, at Clemson. He worked uh, for other people that are uh, terrific. He worked also for uh, uh, our favorite guy. We worked uh, as an assistant coach uh, for Billy Donovan, He's one of our favorite guys. So he's had some great mentors. Uh, worked at Akron. Keith Dambrot, another outstanding coach. So he's had some great mentors, but he learned magna cum laude, Dave at Kenyon College in Ohio, so he's a very bright guy and really relates well to his players. We watched him practice the last couple of days. Melvin Johnson up the side of the backboard, but he was fouled. Great run for Shaka Smart. Boom, Shaka Laka, I like that one. That's a great job, Graphics department, CBI title in year one. The final four in year two, last year, third round of the NCAA tournament, lost a very close game by two to Indiana after beating Wichita State. Of the Missouri Valley Conference in the second round. This game matches the top two coaches in terms of win percentage. One more for Johnson. In VCU history, Grant actually slightly better than Shaka coming in, but Shaka continues to win games and increase that stat. Three years a head coach coming into the season. He averaged 28 wins a year in his first three seasons at VCU, starting his fourth. Now that's amazing. One out of two for Melvin Johnson. Another double figure score in this game for VCU. He said it was today. Shaka said, look, there were some good opportunities. Offers came my way, but they weren't the right ones for me. 
Lacey long range shot. Finally, Trevor Lacey has his second three. He's got to learn a lesson. Lacey's an outstanding player, Dave. He wasn't real aggressive early in the game. The game's decided. He raises up and buries a three. He could have been doing that a lot earlier. We're headed out to Albuquerque next. 17th ranked New Mexico undefeated against instant rival New Mexico State. The Rio Grande rivalry, 209th all time meeting. Which New Mexico has won 113 of those games head to head with the Aggies. That'd be a fun one. Oh. Gravion Grant can't hit. Left low block with the right hand. Brought it out of bounds to the Rams with just over 90 ticks remaining here in our second half. Dave, that was real good offense by VCU. They ran the clock to the last five seconds. Got it to their best player, Travion Graham. Got him the ball inside. Got a heck of a look. Weber resets the half-court offense. And it's interesting, Pete, to think about Chaka Smart staying at VCU and turning down the big job. Anthony Grant left after three years for one of the big six of BCS conference school, and each have continued to have success. Exactly. A lot of ways to do things. Chris Mack could have gone from Xavier to other places, Dave, and he stayed. And uh, certainly, guys have to make a decision. Chaka said, I love it here. They're supporting me. We're getting good players in. They're supporting the players. So he wants to build a program like Gonzaga has done, like other so-called mid-majors are doing. And uh, he can do it here. Tremendous support from the administration. Richmond's a great city. Fans are behind him. He's got all the ingredients to have a top 25 program. Here is Weber. The free throw line. Shoots 75% coming in. He'll have another one. Anthony Grant, again, he just got to say, all right, what do we got to do now? This is a great game for his team, Dave. To realize we're on the road in the SEC. We're going to face environments like this. So it's a great experience. So even though you lose, you got to learn from the loss. The way you learn, you got to take better care of the basketball. We got to come out with fire. And guys like Lacey, who's took it play. Jacobs, they got to step up and be more aggressive. Brandenburg back in. Some guys like Shaka Smart, who's seen great offensive depth. Ten, play, ten points plus for four players today. Chris Moody across town about five miles away at Richmond. Turned down some of the big jobs. Stay with the Spiders. Offensive foul call. Chris Mack from your club's job at Xavier. Plenty of offers. Ben Jacobson yeah, from Northern Iowa. Brad Stevens, of course. Mark Few, great run at Gonzaga. Guys who stayed in the quote unquote mid majors and didn't move on. It's a lot to be said for that, Dave, because a lot of the mid majors are getting. Paid a lot better now, the coaches. They're taking care of them, taking care of their assistants, more support for the program. So schools are realizing that you can make a lot of money off college basketball. Bobos and Aggies, New Mexico, New Mexico State coming up next on CBS Sports Network. Only 35 seconds remaining. Justin Toyo, freshman from Hampton, Georgia, near Atlanta, in for the first time in the final moments for Shaka Smart. With a 17 point lead. I think if you're the Atlantic 10 and you know Butler, who just beat Indiana, <laughs> top ranked Hoosiers, knocked off for the first time, and VCU new to the conference, was saying, why do these guys have to join us? Exactly. If I'm some of the other schools in the A 10, say, wow, it's tough enough. You bring in VCU and Butler, that's two more nightmares. So, uh, but it's a great league. A terrific job, and it's getting better and better. As we told you, VCU had only been 3 and 26 all time against SEC teams. First victory against the Southeastern Conference Club. Forthcoming here for Shaka Smart. Oki Ray for hit a couple. Lacey long range shot. A miss. Teddy Oki Ray for has the rebound. They'll count it down here in Richmond. And that will do it. 73-54. That's the final score for Pete Gill and the entire crew. I'm Dave Bryant saying so long. For scores, highlights, features, and more, go to cbsports.com. This has been a presentation of CBS Sports Network, the 24-hour home of CBS Sports. Impressive victory for Shaka Smart and the Rams all over Alabama. They've won four straight. 
So long from Richmond. Up next, New Mexico State at New Mexico with James Bates and Steve Lapis from a pit in Albuquerque standing by. Gentlemen, take it away.